Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm here at Hyundai Motor Plaza in Chennai near Alando. So I would like to thank them for allowing me to review the cars and you can check out the details of the Hyundai Motor Plaza in the description below. So let's get on video get on with the video. So we have the new facelifted Hyundai i20 M line. So there are some uh, changes to the car which has been done over the previous i20 n9 so let's get started so at the, the front if you see you get a enlarged hyundai logo and there's a 2d logo here so before there was a different logo now it's a little bit you know modernized logo and before there was a checkered flag grill but now it's the regular grill with piano black touches and n9 badging over here and if you come to the lights before there was a projector setup now it's full fully LED so full LED lights here only for the headlamp and you get a fog light as well so weld inserts since it's an N-line so yeah if you come to the side you get N-line badging here as well and if you see the tire size so these are the N-line rims as well so if you see the tire size 195.55 R16 so N-line wheels which I told earlier for like that's and you get front end gear disc brakes which is specific to the N-Line red brake calipers as well so this is more of a simple design for the alloy wheel before it was more, uh, what do we say, sporty so here you get blacked out OR rims since it's an N-Line again so there would be some N-Line twerks like the red inserts the blacked out things and stuff body color door, uh, body color door handles with the passive entry as well so rear displays which I had mentioned so you get rear LED tail lights as well and yeah you get a working exhaust so you get twin tip exhaust which actually works not like other companies which put fake exhaust and which actually doesn't work and the exhaust is under the uh, car so the rear profile is also to, uh, tweaked a little bit like before they've added a splitter or uh, like that uh, kind of treatment so let's open the boot so the boot is decent size, 311 liters. So yeah, and you get a spare tire as well. Partial surface there. So loading lip is on the kind of, is kind of on the high side with hatchback, so not like not many of them would complain. And if we talk about the length, it's 3995 mm, and the wheelbase is 2580 mm. So shark fin antenna as well. So let's get in. Getting in decent since it's not very tall not very short as well so it's decent and if you talk about the legroom and knee room legroom is fine knee room is also fine and the thigh support is decent since the seat is little bit low but overall the seats are fine so on the seats as well you get this red treatment stating that it's an inline and yeah so you get rear AC vents some storage space here and a USB over here so three people will not that be that comfortable uh, but I think two adults and child yeah that would work so you get some storage area here with some red inserts and height adjustable seat belts as well adjustable rear headrests as well so that's a good touch and you get a light here and a sunroof here as well so, so yeah sunroof is a little common in the segment these days maybe even all the hatchbacks are getting it right now and yeah if you talk about the safety you get six airbags abs ebd esc traction control hill hold control tire pressure monitoring system and rear disc brakes so yeah safety wise they made six airbags the standard even on the regular i20 so yeah you get a VR wiper as well So if you see here, you get a traction control button, drive mode button, a reverse camera, like you can see the rear camera with the button, headlight leveler. So all four power windows and you get the specific end steering with this three spoke and these aggressive paddle shifters with the end badging here. And the specific end gear lever as well, wireless charger. You get red ambient lighting as well, like if you see you red over here, red over there. Red over there, metal pedals, red switches. So yeah, good touches. This makes the cabin a bit more sporty, and that's what like people say 
that if you're giving us an N line, there should be some differences. And the main difference, what they've done it, they removed the one liter turbo from the regular I twenty, stating that it's a turbo petrol engine, and they've give, made it N line specific to make it more special. So yeah, that's a good idea. And you get a driver armrest with some space, twin cup holders, and so this is a seven speed DCT. Yeah, so let's just start the ignition. So you get 10.25 inch screens, good and crystal clear screens and easy to use. So this is the new age Hyundai uh, infotainment system which is slick to use and even more modern as well in terms of features. So if you see you get, uh, it shows your fuel economy. You, should, you get your speed, you get your RPM, you get your gear, seat belt, and your average economy, that is the range, and this is the total kilometers driven. So, this is the regular info which you can, the trip meter which you can reset it. Yeah, and this is the compass and the tire pressure monitor, which I had mentioned earlier. So, let me show you the screen as well. It gets Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, but the catch is that uh, the Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, it's wired in the bigger screen, which is the 10.25 inch screen, and wireless in the 8 inch screen. So that is kind of, you know, the opposite side. So it gets, yeah, the navigation map and all of those stuff. So if you go into some good features, the valet mode is a good feature, and Blue Link, the connected car tech is there. If you go into media, you have sounds of nature. That's what I was finding. So you have sounds of nature as well, different... Uh, types of sounds are there so that's a good feature I think all the new age Hyundai cars are getting it so yeah so this is the climate control settings like automatic climate control and you get a glove box as well it's a cooled one so I think almost all the Hyundai cars get a cooled glove box yeah so let me show you the steering wheel as well you get the mode selector, you get voice command, the cruise control and the volume controls. Cruise control is over here. And just to browse through the multi-information display. You get a auto dimming inside rear view mirror. And you get a, you don't get a mirror over here, you get a mirror over here. So twin lights here as well. Sunglass holder is over here. And you get a sunroof with a sun blind. So let me show you the engine. So if you pull this lever, the bonnet opens and in drive mode you have three drive modes, equal, normal and sport. So you can alter the engine accordingly. So before that let me show you the key as well. So to see the key, you have log and log, you can directly open the boot from the key and you can also remote start the car since it's an automatic. So good feature given over here. So just pull this lever and it opens. So you get a 1 litre turbo GDI. So GDI stands for turbo uh, no sorry, gasoline direct injection. So it's a turbo petrol engine, double uh, nine eight cc engine producing around 120 horsepower and 172 newton meters of torque which does 0 to 100 i think if you do it well it's under 10 seconds or else if the dct since the lag is there it's over 10 seconds and because of the n-line specific the high speed stability is better in the i20 n-line or the any n-line models in india if you say so the n-line specifically i20 n-line is offered in two variants and two uh, power turn options so n6 and n8 and the power turn options are uh, manual and a DCT so before there was only an IMT and DCT so they have checked out the IMT and put the manual which I actually people wanted so overall if I talk about the car uh, well feature loaded uh, good high speed stability many of them were telling that Hyundai is not stable at higher speeds and uh, fun to drive hatchback after the Polo I think many of them admired the Polo but after the N-Line coming I think many of them are going towards N-Line because they are getting the performance the safety the features and the practicality all together whereas the polo only had the stability and the driving dynamics and the speed so if anyone is interested you can definitely go for it and 
if you want any doubts you can comment on youtube comment on instagram dm me instagram i can help you anytime you want i can help you connect with the dealers as well so thank you so much please do like share comment and subscribe and do let me know your views about the i20 online